Hi Libra, this is Jackie Tama and this video is for your entire month of March 2017. Thank you for stopping by. I also wanted to remind you to check out your weekly videos as well. If you're looking for a more personable reading, please contact me on my website at www.ms-swami.com and you will find a link to that below this video. Overall, March does not look like a bad month for you guys, but it does look like a month where you're kind of clearing away everything, I'm not going to say negative, but things that just no longer serve a purpose that you're leaving those behind. Um, there is some type of signing of a document there, and it shows that you're aiming for perfection and that hard work in the past is really going to pay off for you this month of March. Also, communication looks like it's wide open for you guys. So let's take a look. This is for Libra for the entire month of March 2017. Libra, we start with the Ace of Swords, followed by the Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. I'm going to break this down for you guys and I'll pull three more. Good news, we're starting with a new beginning and the time frame for that new beginning is now. And for a lot of you, this is like in all areas. This is all the way across the board. So just things fresh. Like I said, you're letting go of a lot of things in the past. Now, work career is coming through strongly for Libra. This shows that you're working and gaining. You're moving forward in your career. And sometimes, and this is, for a lot of you, this is in career, not in your personal life, but in the career life, it's a bit overwhelming for you. It is paying off. There's the financial independence. The Five of Cups shows that things are a little bit off in the personal life, even though I do see good communication. Like I said, you're letting go some, from some things in the past, and that could be people as well. Now, the Ten of Cups shows that you have a happy home. We're followed up by a major kind of the death card, and the death card is just what that closure I'm talking about. It's leaving things behind. It's closing out negative things. It's the end of negative situations and it's new beginnings for you. And just like we saw with that Ace of Swords right at the beginning, the time frame is now for this. We're followed by a major arcana of the fool and a major arcana of justice. So let me see if I'll pull you guys one more. The four swords. The fool is to be mindful of foolish decisions. And see there, one bad decision, the little guy right there is going to fall right off the cliff. So, you know, um, don't overthink things, but do put some thought into your decisions this month. Now, the Justice card, there is some type of legal document that I do see you signing this month. Um, it does seem to be very positive. It does look like, looks like it's going into your favor, but beside that, it shows a need for rest. So it's perhaps a little bit of a delay attached to that. Now, looking across the board at the major arcanas for the month, you're looking at them right there. It's the end. There's closure. There's closing out things negative. That's to be mindful of your fullest decisions. And this is pushing forward and justice going in your favor. So, I mean, I think you've got a really solid month ahead of you. I mean, we're looking at new beginnings. I'm also looking at really strong finances and careers. So just a good, solid month for Libra coming up. So thank you for watching. Please take the time to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in a few days. Bye.